Hey there guys, my name is and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can easily use Gmail. I use Gmail daily for years right now and I'm really excited to make this video. Of course, you will have timestamps down below in the description, so if you understand something really quickly, just skip the step or if you want to come back to the video and watch it later, you can do it and you will know exactly where you end up. Now also, if you can have any questions regards of this video, definitely write them down below in the comments and if I know the answer, I'm really happy to answer you. Now also, if this video will be helpful, you can support me, subscribe and with the like button. Thank you and let's go. So, the first thing that we are going to focus on is registration. If you already created your account, guys, completely skip this step and we will meet each other to the next step. So the first thing that you want to do is click here, create account. Now I'm going to just like change it to English so we understand it. And first name, last name, I will add here Marcus Stonelius. Now you have to create your username. I would recommend creating a username which is easy to understand. And when someone is going to ask you for email, you can just like give it to them. Don't create something like, like I don't know, let's say 42069 blaze it uh, Marcus. Tolerius, you know, if someone is going to ask for my email, I would give them this, it would be, I, I don't know, <laughs> you get me, right? But if I'm going to have it Marcus Tonelius Aurelius, or like Marcus Tonelius 111, we can go with the password then and confirm. I would also recommend having letters, numbers, symbols in your password. Definitely have it. Then click next. And we go further. Now, then you have option to add a phone number. I already have phone number on multiple um, accounts. I'm not going to add it for this one too, but definitely have it for the verification. Now, if you already own any other email, or if you can have, have a parent, if you have, let's say, partner, someone, you can add recovery email. So let's say you would get hacked. Sometimes it happens. What can happen? Thanks to recover email, you can get access to your account. I would definitely recommend someone from family or someone to have it as a recovery and definitely have your phone number right here. Then you add when you were born. Gender male. OK, and then click next. I mean, if you're gender female, just female, just you choose you. Click next. And then choose personalization settings. Manual personalization or express. I always choose express. And in a couple of weeks to review your settings, it's like, all right, then click next. Confirm personalization settings. Okay. 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 Confirm. Okay. Okay. I agree. This is the standard procedure, you know, as they say. Now let's wait until it loads. And then we will move further. Now your account is being created, as you can see, it's like rolling down. And here we go. So here you can, can use Google Meet, got it. And now the, the fun begins. The next thing that I'm going to show you is interface of Gmail. So what you can do is go to top left and click on the main menu. In that way, you can simply open and close the menu you see right here. Then under it, we will learn how we can compose email. We will get to it. Under it, you're going to see the inbox messages. And here in inbox, you're going to have primary, social or promotions. In social, many times you're going to find ads and also in promotions. That's the way how they can target you. Let me give you also how we do look in the future, what you can find in social and promotions. This is one of my Gmail accounts. And as you can see in primary, I have emails in social. I got YouTube here, plenty of comments and promotions are like emails. Stay one step ahead, kitchen appliances. They are targeting me, right? They wouldn't like appear here in primary email. They would be in promotions that I could click on. So this is the, how the social and promotions work. Then right under it are start messages. Start messages are messages when I would click here on a not start. I'm going to click on it. I would click and find it in start messages. Then further, 
I can have snooze messages. We are snoozed. Send are those when we are going to compose an email and we are going to send it. Then we're going to see the drafts here. In drafts, drafts are messages that you didn't send yet. So let's say I'm going to compose an email and I will show you how it works. You would find it in drafts. Then you're going to have the important. So when I'm going to be in important, that's a label that I would have OK. That this one is important. So I would select the email here. So let's select it together. And you have options to archive it. That's the first thing that you can do. Then you can report it to spam. We would find it in spam. You can delete it, mark as a red, snooze it, add to tasks, move to, or labels. In the moment when I'm going to label it, social, forum, etc., I would be able to like see it here. Or you can also mark this as important. When if I'm going to mark it as important, I'm going to click on the important. Here we got it. So again, I would click on it, three dots, and you can add a star. Then I would have it in start. I can mute it. I can forward it as attachment or filter messages like these. So this is how the interface work. When you go even further, and I'm going to scroll down below, we can see the scheduled emails that we are going to learn when I'm going to compose an email. You can also schedule it. So it's going to, let's say, you're going to send it next week. I'm going to teach you how we can do it. Then you're going to see the spam. All mail, all mail are trash, spam, everything will be in all mail, promotions, social, everything. Then you're going to see the categories as a social updates, forums, promotions, and manage labels. You can also create a new label. What is actually label? That's the question. Label is, let's imagine that you have important emails about your health. Let's say you got emails from doctors and you want to create a label in which you would actually get them those emails and I'm going to show you also how we can do it. So you will always find them in your labels. So that's how we will do it and we will get to it. And then the last thing that I want to show you is if you would go to the top right, you can have the settings next to the Google applications that you can also use. You're going to have settings and you have option to choose density here. Like if you're going to have a lot of emails, I can show it to you on my on this email because it's going to be much easier to understand. I would go to top right, click settings and look and the density. You can always change it. See the compact one, the comfortable, the default. I like the comfortable, but you can have compact. Everything is like really put together. Then you can have the themes here that you can change and then inbox type. So let's say that I can have unread first. See? or important first. So those which are important to me, I would find them. Or I can have start. So look at this. As you can see, uh, these are the start one. Or you can have priority inbox. See, based on priority, what you got is going to choose it for you. Or multiple inboxes. And look at this, start draft inbox. So this is another option that you can have in the future. You can play around it, see while you'll be using a lot of a Gmail, all of them Gmail, you can combine it and create it as much as you want. So that's pretty much it, how the settings works. Then we will go to advanced settings in the end of the video. If you're interested, you can check it out, like how to get a sign there and what are some important settings that you need to figure it out. So let's go further on how we can compose email. So how we can actually write messages, you would go to the left, click compose. Now it will always appear on the right side, the message that you want to write. But let's say that I want to go to the left again and click compose. What will happen, you can write two emails at once, even more if you want to. It's completely up to you. Now what you can do also, you can minimize them when you're going to click on this bar right here. And when I'm going to click, you can minimize it by clicking this or you can make it full screen. So let's say that you want to focus on writing the email completely. You can click on it and right here you get it full screen. Now, what you can actually do in to two, you're going to write email to which you want to write. If you're going to have contacts, you would find them right here. So if once I'm going to write to this email, that's my email that we will get the message from message to, uh, it will save up as your contact and then you can like easily use it. Subject, I there, and then you start writing here. 
So I can go, hi there, Marcus. How are you doing? And look what you can do. Let me zoom in. You can go undo. So let's say I made a mistake. I can undo. I can simply choose it and change the font here. I can also make change the size of it. So I can click on it, large or big one, like, like huge. I can make it also bold. So if I'm going to choose different Comic Sans, I can make it bold and look at it's bold. I can also make it italic, underline it, and I can change the text color. Oh, too bright. So let's say I'm going to choose the blue one. Then what I can do, I can align it. So let's say I'm going to align it to middle or to right side or to left side. And I can simply add a num numbered list. How are you doing? And let's say I'm going to choose a numbered list. Good, bad, wrong. What I can do is not choose a number list, but bullets. So that's what you can do. Then when you're going to press enter, you would be on a fourth. Now you're going to press enter again. You would be directly again in a text. Now what I can do, I can simply in the less and more. So let's say I'm going to have oh, apple, banana. I can indent it to right side or left side. See? So that's what you can do. What you can do also is to choose it and quote it. And as you can see, it's going to have this kind of a line here. And then you can also strike through. Or what I can do, I can remove formatting. See, and we are in the beginning. When you're going to always remove the formatting, it will remove everything what we did. So here, remove formatting. Here we got it. Now, when you have it, uh, you can have the formatting options that you can turn on, turn off. You can add attachments and attach a file. So I'm going to add a baby Yoda right here. When someone is going to open it, it will download for them. And we'll, voila, this is the baby Yoda. So this is how we can also add attachments. You can insert a link. So let's say I'm going to have a YouTube video. and spider-man new video i can insert the link text to display it's going to be spider-man web address this okay and now go to link this thing this link for spider-man and this is how i do it so this is how you can also insert link you can add emojis So we're going to have emojis here. You can add plenty of emojis if you want to. And then you can have insert files using Drive. So if you're going to have like Drive for your account on Gmail, you can insert insert files by doing that. Insert photo. You can select from your device. That's like attaching a file. But attaching a file is different comparing to inserting photo. So when I'm going to insert the photo, it's going to insert the photo directly to my email. As you can see, uh, attaching the files, it's going to be like attachments, but inserting a photo will be photo in the email. Then you can also turn confidential mode on and off. Recipients won't have the option to forward, copy, print, or download this email. So they can only like open it. And I can have expires in one week, one month. All passcodes will be generated by Google, no passcode, code you can have also require a passcode for this sms or no sms and you can have expiration here so that's what you can do and you can also uh ins uh, like add signatures this is something that i will show you after this or uh, in the end of the video probably but this is how we do it now what i can do is don't click send straight away you can click on a f on this like arrow here and you can do the scheduled send as i mentioned to you when I'm going to click on a scheduled send, I can go tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, Monday morning, or I can pick date and time. 
So I can simply click pick date and time. And let's say I want to prepare this email, which is going to be really important for Friday at, let's say, 6 a.m., right? And then I'm going to schedule it. So that's how we do it. Now, or what you can do is just simply click here and send. But on the right side, you're going to see three dots and you can default to full screen. You can also label it somewhere your sent email before you're going to actually send it. So I'm going to add a start to it and I can I'll do whatever with it and then click send now. So in the moment I'm sending it and let's look how it's going to look like on our email. And it's going to take a little bit of time to appear because we sent some attachments. And here we got it. Look at this. Of course, be careful with this message. And look at this. We got everything here. And now I'm going to show you that I'm going to reply to myself. And I'm going to show you how we can easily reply when someone is going to actually send you an email. So let's see. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can easily reply to an email. When you're going to click on an email here, I got from my second email a message. What you can do is multiple things. First, you can click here on the show details and you see to who also they replied. Let's say they replied to you and someone else. You see the date, mailed by it, signed by it at security. On the right side, you would see when they replied back. You can also start the message. Then we would find it in start. I can reply straight away by clicking here or I can reply clicking here. And then I can click more and I can forward it to someone else. So I'm going to send it also to different email. I can filter the messages like these, print it. I can block the Gmail, the email account that sent me this message. I can report it for a spam report for phishing. I can show the original. So how it looks like. Or I can download the message or I can make uh, mark it unread. Now when I'm going to click here reply, this looks really similar when you're composing the email really similar. You can start writing so um, I can go and thanks for writing me again. And I can click on a show trimmed content. These would be all the messages when you're going to click on the show uh, trim content. Then again, you can schedule the send. You can add formatting options, attach a files, insert link, insert emojis, insert files using drive photo. And this is literally the same what we learn when we are actually composing the email. Again, you can go on a right side more options. You can print it or plain text mode. So this is pretty understandable, I believe. And then what you're going to see is you can pop out reply. When I'm going to do it, it will pop out for me. And when we are actually composing the email, you are currently editing your reply in a separate window. And again, what I can do is to simply click send. And this is how we do it. Thanks for writing me again. And I replied. Of course, what I can do is to click on the three dots and forward the message. So how to actually forward the message? You have to to and let's say I'm going to send it to a different email. That's another one, one of mine and to and then send it. Now I'm going not only uh, forward it and send it to Taum and tips. I got it also to my new email. So this is how we can reply and how we can forward your email address, your like message. If you can have any questions about this stuff, let me down below in the comments so I can explain better. So now I'm going to teach you about the menu on the left and how we can use it. Now, when you know how to compose emails and also how we can reply to emails, when you come here and uh, you're going to see the scheduled emails here, all mails, 
like even the Google, the replied. What you can do is just easily delete the email. When you're going to click on an email, then press delete. I would find it in trash. Look at this. Or then what you can do is create new labels. So how to create new labels and what you can do about it. You click here, create new labels and your new label, let's say health care emails. I can also nest the label under if I want to and I can easily press create. Here, when I'm going to do it, I can see that I got healthcare emails right here. And let's say I got an email from my doctor. What I can do is to simply click on my email. On the right side, you're going to see archive, delete, mark as unread or snooze. And what you can do, you can move to on above, move to next to the labels, healthcare emails, bank. Now, I can see healthcare emails right here. So all the emails, I can easily just label it here. I won't see it in inbox anywhere. Also stared, I will find it them. And in healthcare email, you can sense it and see it right here. So this is pretty much it, how we can work with labels and how we can create labels. So now let's go to the last thing and that's how we can use settings. Uh, if you can have any questions about the whole tutorial that I just made, ask me down in the comments. I'm going for the last thing and how we can simply uh, use settings in Gmail. So now how we can work with settings. What you have to do is go to top right and let's click on the settings. Here, click see all settings. The first thing, this can be a little bit like confusing what you see. On the general, you're going to see chat and meet. These are for the chat and meet positions and we will get to these. But right before that, general, you can change language here. You can change the country code. How many per conversation per page? You can edit 100. You're going to see the send cancellation period. And this is something that I would definitely, definitely recommend to have at least like 20 seconds because it will happen. It's not like maybe it will happen. It will happen, guys, is that you will send email and like, damn, I didn't want to send email. I forgot to add something there. And you can have the send cancellation period and edit for 20 seconds. Default reply behavior. You can have reply or reply all. So how does it work is that you have option to uh, like to how many, like which one is going to be the first option, reply all or reply. You can have it or no. Then the next thing that I want to show you is the default text size. This is something, let's say that you want to have different font when you're writing up so you don't have to change it. You can have it. Images, you can always display external images or ask before displaying external images. And then you can have the smart features as the spelling, as everything turned on. Now, the next thing I want to show you, a uh, conversation view. You can have sets whether the emails of the same topic are grouped together. So let's say that there are like emails about one topic that you're talking about. You can have conversation views on or off, then it will be like one by one. Again, up to you. The next thing I want to show you, also really important, desktop notifications off or on. You're going to have the stars here and you can have multiple stars that you can add. Again, not in use, you can use those too. And uh, another thing that I want to show you is a picture. When you would come here to my picture, you can simply choose a picture. And you can upload it. So this is something what the people that you can send email, they will see it. So they will see your picture. Definitely change that. And then important signals for ads and signature. You can create a new one. So signature name, let's say Marcus create. And what I can do is to edit the signature name and add a signature on signature defaults for new. Emails use, I can add Marcus on reply, I can add Marcus. I can simply also upload my own signature right here. So that's how we do it. And you can add a picture and then have a signature of your here. 
and then when you will be like replying to email, you would find it right here. Then you're gonna have the personal level indicators and snippets. And then vacation responder. This is something that you can have on or off. So let's say that you're using professionally your email or your Gmail account and you would have vacation responder on or off or on first day, let's say today, last day is going to be 31st and subject. Thank you. Sends an automated reply to an incoming messages. If a contact sends you several messages, this automated reply will be sent a most once every four days. So thank you for writing me. I am on vacation right now. We'll get to you after I come back. And you can also only send response to my people in contact. So that's how we can do it. And this is how we can work with vacation. And then you can have the save changes right here. Now, the next thing I want to show you is on general advanced. This is something like not really that important, neither offline or teams. You can set theme here if you want. That's not really that important if you want to. I just want to show you the important stuff. Labels. These are the labels that you got in settings. You can show it, hide it. See, so in the system labels, important. I can head start, snoozed, categories, or I get healthcare. Look at this. I can create a new label. I can hide it or show it. See, so you can really just choose what you want to show or no. Then you can have the inbox. The inbox, you can change the inbox type. You can see right here. That from default you can go to unread first or start first so when you're gonna have like open the inbox what you will find priority inbox so this is something that we found that we found right here wait a second settings see unread start this is what we saw right here and what you can change here of course and then that's pretty much it how we can do it and that's pretty much it like, I don't know what else to show you. You can also show markers here. And accounts and import. You can change the password here. You can also add different email address. And you can also add a new filter for blocked words. And then the last thing are add-ons. So when you would go on the right side, you're going to see the plus here. And you can get add-ons here. And you can add zoom. Select for Gmail, DocuSign, Fish Alarm. So plenty of things that you can add directly to your Google Workspace. And that's pretty much it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. You can click on Zoom and install. And that's pretty much it how you do it. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. And see ya. This was a Gmail tutorial, how to use Gmail, Gmail for the beginners, Gmail one to three, Gmail tutorial, Gmail for the beginners, Gmail guide.